Hi, this is Alexandra at Bita Halik, here to show you how to make a cross-style chain woven bracelet. For this project, I'll be using some thick flattened curb chain with a toggle clasp, some three millimeter microfiber faux suede, a little bit of glue at the end to secure the knot, a couple pairs of pliers and flush cutters. You'll see here I've got my tying station with some thread to mount my chain so that I have two hands to work with. And here I've got a mostly finished piece done in a very similar style using parallel curb chains, two lengths, that are sewn together using a whip stitch of three millimeter in purple of the faux suede. So I've attached one side of that clasp and toward the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to attach the other side in the same way. This is a little different than what we'll be doing with the cross stitch versus the whip stitch. So to begin, I'm going to cut myself a couple lengths of this Eslon thread, nylon cord here. And I'll tie my chains together and mount them onto the tying station. I was glad to find a use for these big, thick chains that uh, I wouldn't normally think to wear myself, but I love how they turn out in sort of a crafty artisan style. Really nice effect. Now I'm gonna make sure that my chains are hanging straight so that the two lengths are flat and I'm lining up my links that way. And pull over hand knot. Now I'm ready to put it on. Tying station is a very handy tool for freeing up my hands to work. load on the second side of my bracelet here. This side has a foam pad that helps to lift it up a little bit for leverage. There we go. Tighten it up a little actually. I can adjust on this end which is helpful. All right. So now that my chains are loaded, I'm ready to cut my suede. I'm going to be cutting five feet for the cross stitch. Yeah, the purple version with the whip stitch used half that. <laughs> there we go. So to load the suede on, I'm going to string it through the top two links and pull it halfway through so I have two and a half feet coming off of each side. Once I've got those on there, I'm going to set one aside and just begin the whip stitch as I did in the purple bracelet here. And we're going to come all the way down with that before we start the cross stitch on the other side. That way we make sure we get the right cords going in the right directions. So for this, I'm just bringing the leather through the next set of links, over top, around, and through. Over top, around, and through. The suede is, is flat, so you want to make sure that you get it um, not wrinkling. Just keep it going in the same direction. Like 
like so. So I'm going to keep going all the way down and then meet up with you when we start the other side. Down to my last couple of links here and then I'll be done on this side. Come through my final links and I'm going to come back up to the top and start the same thing on the other side going in the opposite direction. So let's see how this fits through. When I practiced it was a slightly tighter fit and my pliers were really handy it looks like. It's going to give me an easy time of it though so that's good. I'm coming over the top of my previous cord and through the links the same way, creating a cross stitch. And you'll see that the, the two sides of the chain are uh, still flattened against each other, but once this is done, we'll open them up and see what we have. Should I get through both links? That one came through the middle, so I need to through the back here and get up in there. This is where my pliers might help me. Sometimes the leather can be a bit of a tight fit. So just take my flat plier. That'll help me pull it through. Make sure the chains are still flat against each other. I think that's the key, is keeping the links aligned. So I'm going to keep going down. Yeah, it should be done in just a couple minutes. Works up pretty quickly. It's a really um, striking, striking result. All right, so I'm finishing up here. And you'll notice that my chain has gone slack. It's pretty weighty, so I'm going to Create a bit more tension there just by pulling the two ends apart. Get myself up through this second link of this side. And just about done. I've got two more rounds. All right, my last weave, there we go. And got the cross stitch effect now. So I think I'm ready to take my bracelet off. Let's see how it turned out. where we can open it up and you can see that cross stitch effect between the links of chain it's pretty neat here's what it looks like on the other side it's also a very clean finish on there so to finish off let's go ahead and clip off the threads and I'm gonna tie just a basic overhand knot on this side double knot actually And I'll reinforce it with some glue. Just make sure I have it laying right. The suede does a pretty tight, secure knot on itself. 
before I clip though, I'm going to add the glue. Use my GS Hypo Cement and tuck it into the crevices. So that'll dry clear. All right, so now I'm ready to clip the ends of my suede. Just leave a pretty small amount of tail on each side. And go ahead and attach our toggle clasp with a couple of nice, strong 10 millimeter jump rings. So I'm going to bring the two sides of the chain back together a little bit. Pull that jump ring through. Go ahead and put the clasp on. And close it up nice and tight. There's one side. Do the same thing with the bar side of the toggle. Jump ring on, clasp on, and close. Here we go. So there's a cross style woven bracelet. Really striking. I like how that turned out a lot. And I want to show you for the whip stitch version, the smaller one how to go ahead and achieve this uh, knotted glued closure using just one side of the leather. So what I'm going to do is you'll notice there are two small links left on the ends and I want to thread my leather up through those to start. Before I go through my second one, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my get the bits of my clasp here. I've got a soldered six millimeter jump ring and I'm going to string that onto my suede. That's going to provide the attachment for my open jump ring that will attach the toggle in turn. So I'll go through the second small link and I've created my go between there. I'm going to leave it actually just a little bit slack because I want to be able to tuck through that loop. And again, here is where the pliers come in very handy to grip and pull. Come through that one loop and I'm going to actually do the same thing down the next two loops of the back of this bracelet. Loosen it up a little bit. Train this way through. Tighten it up. And again. Loosen. And slide it through. Once I've got it secured that way, I can go ahead and do some glue on there. I can use the tip to go underneath. do is just attach my toggle clasp with my little five millimeter open jump ring. So there they are. We've got the whip stitch version and the cross stitch version of the woven chain bracelet using bow suede.
I hope you enjoyed this video. These project bundles, tools, and supplies are all available at bdolly.com. Thanks for watching.